Hi, I'm here with Charles Allers, CEO of the Anaheim and Orange County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Hi, Charles. Charlie, how are you? I'm doing excellent, enjoying your hospitality and this wonderful international power you're hosting. Well, thank you. It seems like everybody that I see has got a big smile on their face. They're enjoying Southern California. They're enjoying Anaheim and Orange County. And believe me, this is a great opportunity for us. In fact, it's the first time we've had a chance to host Pow Wow. We're really pleased to have that opportunity. First time? I didn't realize. Absolutely. They've been close. They've been to Los Angeles, and they've been to San Francisco, and they're going to Las Vegas, but never Orange County. So this is a great opportunity for us. And, and how many um, attendees uh, are you hosting this year? You know, I understand there's somewhere north of 4,600 4, people, about 1,200 international buyers, 350 international press participants, and the rest is comprised of suppliers. So it's a good mix of people. Well, we've been uh, wandering around and uh, speaking to many of the buyers and sellers, and they are um, not only enjoying the weather and the facilities, but it seems like um, there's an optimism about U.S. as an inbound destination turning around again. And, and are you seeing that? For yeah. your area? You know, we are. We're, we're seeing that. We've had an uptick in a couple of the international markets this past year. We've been gaining ground steadily since 9-11, but we lost some prior to that. Uh, the attitude of our federal government seems to be improving about, you know, loosening some of the visa restrictions and making accessibility for international travel at airports in this country better. I mean, they've come to grips with, you know, we're kind of missing the boat here. And it's a great, uh, it's a great product, you, you know, and, and it's a great revenue source for the country. So I think they're realizing they're missing the boat and are now working to kind of mend their ways. Now, everybody knows about Disneyland Anaheim, but very often uh, Orange County, mm -hmm. this county, lovely county you're in, has many, many great tourism assets that people, many people don't know about. How... How are the international uh, uh, visitors uh, uh, learning about Orange County, and what are those numbers like nowadays? Well, you know, the numbers coming to Orange County are, are really significant. There are 44.8 million people came to Orange County last year as visitors. Of those, about 6% were international visitors. Uh, the television programs, the OC and uh, the Laguna Beach program, you know, are all bringing notoriety to the area, uh, and they're helping us brand the destination. So Orange County is now more of a topic of conversation than it's ever been. In fact, we're beginning to hang our branding on Orange County. We have always been the Anaheim Orange County Visitor and Convention Bureau, but I really think that in the future we're going to probably convert the brand to Anaheim OC. And I think that's going to be a trend amongst other DMOs within the county. Yesterday, I uh, after uh, the exhibition, I, I called a friend uh, from the neighborhood, and we met up down Catella. Mm -hmm. And and I haven't been down that drive past the, the five freeway, and I saw this uh, mammoth uh, stadium. And then he says, "No, go further past the Honda Convention Center." And I say, "What?" We pass another one. What's, what's going on with this growth of, of uh, tourism products and leisure products? Well, you know, Anaheim is interesting. It's a small city, about 350,000 people, but big infrastructure. And what you saw on the way to the, uh, the Anaheim Stadium and the Honda Center, the Honda Center is where the hockey team plays, ah. and the Angels play at uh, Anaheim Stadium. But all the other cleared land you saw is uh, A-Town and the Platinum Triangle, which has been cleared for something like 11,000 single-family units. So what's going to happen is that Anaheim is going to have a new downtown, and there's going to be a whole urban, edgy kind of -ness to Anaheim that we've never had before, all within a mile and a half from this convention center, a mile and a half from Disneyland. So we're going to have a, a very modern, you know, upscale living environment that's going to blend very nicely with all of the recreational attractions and the restaurants and the retail that are being built between here and there. One of the interesting things, and, and I'm going to follow it up today as we speak to more of the uh, buyers and sellers, so there seems to be a shift towards um, cultural heritage or national parks type of thing. So it's not mm -hmm. just all outdoors, but it's also some of this meeting the people. And, and Orange County, seems to me, is 
one place where you can really meet the people. If you go to sure. the shopping malls, you go to Newport Beach, you get to meet the people. And you know, you know, I think that's right. I, I think the people who live here are an expression of the cultural lifestyle that Orange County and Southern California exudes. As you know, the, the surf culture started here. People are, are very friendly. You know, they're really outdoor people. As you heard today at the lunch, I mean, 70% of our days are sunshine. I thought it would have been a little higher than that, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, there's an awful lot of activity that are focused outside. Some of our biggest malls are, you know, open-air malls. Uh, the, you know, 42 miles of beach. All these other professional sports activities, you know, the hockey, uh, basketball tournaments, baseball, you know, all conducted. It, yeah, it, it is Americana, and the people here take advantage of that. I mean, our baseball games sell out every night, and, and hockey sells out every night. It's amazing how many people are out doing other things. And foreign uh, visitors, are they going to these uh, baseball games and hockey games? You know, they are, uh, baseball in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, baseball is a big draw internationally because there's so many international players now. You know, not only our team, but, you know, the visiting teams have great players from Asia, the Dominican Republic, South America. I mean, America baseball, you know, isn't necessarily American anymore. It's international. How's the conference business? Oh, it's good. You know, and this is a great year for Anaheim. Now, speaking of conventions, we're going to have more large citywide conventions this year than any year that we've had since we've re redone the center. So we're going to have uh, about a million three hundred thousand convention delegates through these doors. And uh, that's an increase in terms of large conventions of almost 60% over last year, which was not a bad year. Now, we had a lot of meetings last year, but they weren't of the same magnitude. We have 16 conventions this year with 4,000 peak rooms or more. Last year, we only had nine of 4,000 peak rooms or more. Now, is that a reflection? How much of that's a reflection of the growth of the convention pie versus them going, coming to Anaheim versus somewhere else? Well, I really think it's uh, coming to Anaheim, and I'll tell you why. Uh, as you know, back in 2001, we kind of reopened all of this area. We redid the convention center, and it's, you know, it's beautiful, not like it was before. It was very plain before. Now it's kind of a showpiece. You know, we've added new hotels. We've really uh, branded the Anaheim Resort area, added restaurants like Morton's down the street with Chris around the corner that we never had before. And so the, the appeal as a destination has grown dramatically, coupled with we continue to be the second largest market in the United States. As you, as you know, within a 90-mile radius of the front door of this building, we have 21 million people residing, all of those within a short automobile drive to Anaheim. So there are more doctors, more lawyers, more butchers, more drywall contractors, more of anything you can think of which come through the door and make the trade shows that are conducted here in those industries very successful. Charles, thank you very much. And, and Travel Mall looks forward to getting you involved with some of our online activities uh, so that you can share your knowledge and your leadership with the industry around the world and how you make a destination a successful Thank you, Charlie. I, I, I enjoy reading your online publications. Thank you very much. Thank you.